Hey, what's up? What's up? How we doing? We're here for the, uh, this might be, this might be the worst BCW episode yet. Um, because there's been some issues. I also had a minor health scare earlier, but we're here. Give me a second. All right, hello, I'm here. That's right, I'm here. I'm in a Penguins jersey. If Pete saw this, he'd be losing his mind. But uh, we got a great show today. We got Keith in action to kick us off. The match card is a little bit different than what we shared on Twitter, only because I've had several issues today. And you know, the, I mean, this stream was supposed to be four hours ago too, so that, that also contributes. Um, I think Edward is, uh, I think Edward's in Cancun right now, unfortunately. So that sucks. Um, but yeah, he was supposed to be in our main event today, and that's not going to be the case anymore. Um... Ah, uh, thanks for sharing that, Owen. All right. All right, who's ready? We got we got our first matchup here again. Keith is in action against uh, Jerry. Jerry, the man that tapped out Keith in that horrid, horrid tag team matchup. Um, I kind of don't remember that. Uh, we get we got a big big match, Keith Jerry. Then we got. A Maya Price melody battle. BC Dub. Look, Pete. Look, Pete. Look what I'm wearing. Pete, look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Penguins jersey. Isn't that cool? We got, we got it all in BCW. Uh, Starler, Peter Krill, Owen Spade. Ladder match. Number one contenders match for Zanzoon. Or Zanzoon. I'm saying my YouTube channel. For uh, Zyler Glass's uh, BCW Championship. Also known as the, uh, the uh, big gold cunt belt. So... Big cunt. Either one. We got Air Zero versus Matt Marco in the main event. Which, you know, uh, Edward was supposed to wrestle Matt Marco today, but Edward is in Cancun. So, yep. Really happy about that. Really happy about that. Can't support the pens. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry, man. Really, really sorry about that. I can't wait to see Jerry versus Keith, though. Like... I mean, the absolute megastar, Keith. Yeah, you know what? Ed Edward might come back one day. And, uh, you know, Matt, you're going to have some issues, but you, you got to do with Era Zero tonight. So, just be ready. All right. All right. Here they are. Larry, Jerry... Jerry is here with Larry. He should be the uh, the cover star. But Larry is the one in the Team Bring It shirt, and then the uh, oh no, wait, no, Jerry, Jer Jerry's Team Bring It shirt. Sorry, I just, I have to get situated here on BCW because well, I don't want to have another seizure. So let's be let's be a little honest here. Um, yeah, no. Today's today's been a today's been a day. Uh, I'm fine though. So Keith should be my rise. I agree. Also, uh, fuck this game, by the way. Um, if I'm breaking kayfabe here, the game it deleted Edward. Who is this? This isn't Keith. This isn't Keith at all. 
Who is this? Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. He's back. He's back. Where is Keith? Where is Keith? This is the man Keith beat in the first episode of BCW. That beard might have been the best decision he's ever made. <laughs> Owen's calling him an asshole. I don't know what he did. I think he might have taken out Keith. Keith was supposed to be in this match. But instead, we got the assassin right here. Aiden Kennedy. Wow. Back from a long absence. Again, lost episode one to Keith in a number one contenders match to be the first BCW champion. Unbelievable. I'm being told right now that Keith is unconscious backstage. I think we know who did it. He's tied up in a chair, unconscious. I'm not sure how he got the jump on a guy the size of Keith, but wow. I don't know what I can do here. Oh, Jerry. Jerry taking it right to him right away. Could Jerry do it? Jerry with a big block. Oh. The assassin might be too much for Jerry, but Jerry is somehow fighting back in his first singles match. <laughs> Owen cheering for Jerry. But Jerry going right down. The Larry and Jerry connection, you know. As a tag team, they're undefeated in this company. Don't know how that's even possible, but... Oh, man. Again, this man, Jerry, tapped out Keith. They were going to go one-on-one -on -one today. They were supposed to. But for some reason... Oh, man. For some reason, Aiden Kennedy decided to take Keith out. Oh, and a big stomp to the arm. And I think I know why. He finally realized, I'm not better than Keith. I got to take him out. And I got to try to take his spot. And there is a rope break by the assassin. Huge, huge show tonight, guys. That women's match, which is up next, I am particularly excited about. You get to see two competitors that can really, really bring it in this ring. And our main event, even. Our main event... Wasn't supposed to happen, but I'm excited to see the debut of Air Zero here on BCW. Oh, that could have been it right there. That could have been it right there, guys. And that really would have been something, huh? I think, I think Aiden Kennedy might be just a little bit too cocky in this match. Because Jerry is somehow getting the jump on this man, and I can't even tell you how. Like, I mean, it's clear as day, at least to me. What is that picture of, of, of Matt with a duck thing? Uh, I'm just... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that that was that was a sight. Anyway, man, look at this sharpshooter in there. If this man taps out to Jerry, that's gonna be something. I mean, Jerry winning this. I think if Jerry won this, he might get a world title push. But we got a roll up here. Nope, that is not gonna do it. 
Just Jerry and Aiden Kennedy are just taking it to each other. And of course, our next pay-per-view, Bimbos at the Beach, coming in February. That is going to be an exciting show. We got the Mother's Battle Royale that will be kicking that show off. We got Owen's mom in there. We got Aiden's mom in there. Matt's mom's in there. Zyra's mom's in there. Just a bunch of moms. Excited to see that. And look at this. Jerry just lighting up the assassin right now. Did not expect maneuvers like this. Gee, who do I think is winning both Rumbles? I don't know. As a BCW stan, I'm, you know, I, I can't say WWE is where it's at, gonna be honest here. BCW all the way, and look at these punches from the Assassin. But I'm gonna go Becky Lynch and uh, Punk. Those are my guesses. But they're too afraid to show up on BCW. That's a real wrestling show. Oh, and Jerry had a small opportunity there, but Aiden Kennedy coming back. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. Aiden Kennedy. It's a handspring Pele is what I'll call it. I do have to say, though, Aiden Kennedy has a very, very good moveset, and I love seeing what this man can do in the ring. But, man, I got to tell you, if this man, if this man to uh, beat up Keith... Tied him to a chair backstage. I'm like, the man's still unconscious back there. Like, we got to get an ambulance for him or something. Like, that's just kind of diabolical. Oh, man, but Aiden Kennedy. They call me assassin for a reason. He's starting to get the upper hand here on Jerry. And it is not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, but Jerry, look at this. Oh, put in the hurt there on the assassin. Cover? No. Just a two. Oh, man. And just kicking Jerry off. And now, Aiden Kennedy, Aiden Kennedy is looking to end it right here. Oh. His special version of the package pile driver. Cover. Two. No. Jerry. Jerry Mania is running wild. Jerry is to win this thing. How is Jerry to win this thing? Oh my god. Oh. Man. Aiden Kennedy just shot himself out of the, out of the ring right there and that was something. And now he's just taking Jerry down again. This matchup has been very very even when it should not be. Yeah, I think Aiden Kennedy, he was out for a while. He should have been putting in some work. But he's just struggling to beat Jerry. Much like he struggled with Keith. And that amazing matchup they had, by the way. Man, what's he doing now? I thought he was about to attack Larry right there for a second, but he didn't end up going for it. But now he's trying to get Jerry up again. And no. Jerry fighting back. Jerry Mania running wild. He's trying everything in his power. Oh, man. Missed the cave-in. That might be a serious mistake. These two leaving it all in the ring right now. Twisting neck breaker. But there's a kick up by the assassin. And he's stunned, he's unconscious. Oh, Jerry, what are you doing? Jerry, what are you doing? The Jerry elbow. The geriatric elbow. Oh my God. One, two. Oh my God. Oh my God. Aiden Kennedy. Aiden Kennedy. He's 0-2. He's 0-2. <laughs> He's 0-2. <laughs> Larry and Jerry, the goats. <laughs> Man. 
My God. I can't say that that was, uh... I can't say that that was supposed to happen. But here we are. That was funny. Someone tag Coast and tell me lost to a jobber. That guy's at 40 overall. <laughs> uh, all right. Amaya Price Melody Battle. Price has a very interesting style in that ring. Let me tell you. And this is her first matchup with the company. And she's taking it to battle. The winner of this match ends up in a number one contenders match. In a week. So I am excited for that. However, after next week, we are going to be taking a couple weeks off here. Unfortunately. And hopefully, hopefully we get Edward uh, in a week's time. But there's no promising that. Again, Edward might be lost in Cancun. So, I don't know. But man, I did not... <laughs> I did not expect a Jerry win there. But Jerry has... Jerry is the GOAT. Tapped out Keith. Hit the geriatric elbow. <laughs> a winner. A goat in my book. But here's a Maya Price. Might have called her the wrong name on Twitter, but uh, it's fine. Price, again, very good in this ring. It's going to be interesting to see what she does. I personally can't wait to see. But next week, one of these two women could be in a number one contenders match against Ashley Rain. And that would be absolutely huge. There's, there's something really wrong with this game if I'm breaking kayfabe. Why does everybody have the generic theme? Where is Edward and why does everyone have the generic theme? What the hell is wrong? I think she has a generic entrance too. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, um... Hate 2K. Do not know why that happened. Do not worry about it. No, no, I did. I did. I certainly did. She even she even had the right entrance a week ago, so um, I don't know why it's wrong now. But Amaya Price stomping down Melody Battle right now. Um, so it's this is gonna be really interesting. Melody Battle apparently lost her entire identity for whatever reason. But man, face first, Price goes into the mat. Oh, in the midst of the elbow drop. Oh man. Swinging neck breaker. I mean, you just see what these two are doing in this ring, that huge kick right there. I can't help but think that things are going to get serious here as we get a nice elbow drop right there. Price now going up top. We're going to see what she does here. Could be something huge. Never mind, she doesn't go for it. Blocking the knee strike, though, by battle. Oh, neck breaker. Wait a minute. Battle with a roll through. One. Nay, that is not it. Not where our story ends, but that drop kick could be. Price getting back up. Both these two women want a piece of our champion, Kendra. Battle already had her hand at her, but she has another opportunity to climb back right where she just was. Oh. Dodging that lariat there could be the best thing Battle does in this matchup. She needs to climb back into this thing because she is at a slight disadvantage so far. Battle with a chop with another one. Light and price up. Oh, and just throw him right down on the ground. Next up after this match is our big number one contenders ladder match. Winner will be facing 
Zyler Glass next week. I also got to wonder who is trying to call out Owen Spade. Is that something we're going to find out tonight? Is that something we're going to find out next week? I don't know. It's someone who's been in prime time. They've only wrestled one time and they wrestled as the fake masked man. So we got to wonder who it is. But Battle finally getting something together here. Finally trying to get a flurry of offense. Just going right after Price's head. That's what Battle is good for. She's pretty malicious. She targets a body part and she just keeps going for it again and again and again. And you see his elbow drop she's going for. Not just working that body area. I don't know. I don't know what this woman had happened to her in her past, but whatever it was, it mentally ruined her. Because she's able to be as malicious and dangerous as she is in this ring. And now, now Price, oh man, hopping over Price, ducking Price, popped her right in the mouth of that elbow. That was something. That was insane. Multiple elbow drops again. Just the viciousness of Melody Battle on display right here. Fighting her is like going to war. And that kick in the head just proved it. Now working the legs. See, again, working every body part of Amaya Price, just like I said she would. She's just picking her apart. And Price finally kicks her off. Trying to get back into this thing just to save her own life. And that big DDT, the separation she finally needed, she might finally have. She needs to be able to put this thing to bed in her debut. Big kick to the spine. Oh, and just twisting the boot on the face, taking a page out of Battle's playbook. She's trying to pry herself up right now, but I don't know if she can. Oh, kick to the head, drop kick. You know, whoever wins this matchup, they are in a match again next week to determine the number one contender ahead of our next pay-per-view, Bimbo's at the Beach. That is going to be a huge, huge show. It's going to be even bigger than our show serving cunt, guaranteed. I mean, the match card I kind of have cooked up in my head, it's pretty elite. Oh, man. Clothesline there by Battle and a cover here. One. No. Picking Price up. Putting her down. That's the lamest F5 I've ever seen. Wait a minute. Oh, rings of Saturn. Rings of Saturn. That's actually not the rings of Saturn. Or is it? I think it might be. Shit, I don't know anymore. I'm allowed to mess things up. Long day. She has it as a move. That's all I remember. Bouncing off the ropes. Drop kick. Oh, man. Price lighting her up. Oh, we're into the referee. She's still standing up, though. We have real referees here on BCW. Oh, man. That big clothesline by Battle just taking out Amaya Price. Making Price feel this pain. She's pulling the Jerry special on her now. Oh! I thought she connected there for a minute. I believe she missed. She's holding on to her back. There you go. That's how you do that. But a kick up. Oh! Famous her. Price is feeling it now. Now what battle plans on doing here? But that was brutal. Wait a minute. Oh, and a stunner. My God. Price. One. Oh, rope break. Did you guys see that stunner that Maya Price just delivered? Battle almost lost this thing because of that. But Price with that neck breaker. 
trying to get her way back into this thing in this women's matchup. Things looking good here. Listen, I mean, the, these two just do what they can. Battle doesn't really sell much of anything. I mean, we've seen it on display before. She has a loss against Kendra, though. She has that experience. So getting back to her could be interesting matchup. And look at the flying cross body there by Price. Huge. Now an elbow. Right to the mouth. Oh, man. She does have the same shade of blue that uh, Jerry had, so could she be the winner here? A Mamma Mia by Owen. It's where we got no Italian wrestlers in BCW yet. That might change. Maybe Edward's going to be repackaged as Italian Edward. Oh, and look at that. Big DDT. Edward's going to come out dancing, but this time he's going to be holding a plate of spaghetti the whole time he does it. Battle lifting her up. Oh, man. Going for the submission. Going for the submission. Trying to get Price to go out. She's trying to choke her out. And she does. Melody battle, one step closer to facing Kendra once again. And need I remind you, it directly relates to our next matchup. Kendra screwed over Pete Brents, by the way. And that is precisely why we have our next matchup. The Melody battle, huge win. Huge win. Her entrance is not correct anymore. But huge, huge win. Unbelievable. All right, who's ready for our semi-main event? This thing is going to go um, incredibly hard. At least I, I, I'd hope. It's a ladder match. I don't know if I have too much faith. But we're going to be here nonetheless. Here nonetheless. Because we got our two big ones left to go here. Star Lord Peter Creel, which I don't even know who this man is because Pete Brents, you know, used to be this man. And then he evolved, you know. He evolved because he needed to move forward in his life. He needed to move on. But somehow, some way, that just isn't him anymore. And now we're at a point here where we got this. So I, again, don't know who this man is. Don't know what Kendra did to conjure this man up. But imagine, imagine Owen wins this match and he faces Xyler Glass in a week's time. Xyler Glass versus Owen Spade 3 would be an absolute banger. And it's not even on the pay-per-view. Next week isn't the pay-per-view. So that is really something. And again, you also have to think about the fact that someone is after Owen Spade. And we don't know who it is. Nonetheless, very excited for this. Despite the fact I don't know who this man is. No Kendra with him tonight. Very interesting. I, I, I'm quite interested to see how things play out here. If I'm being quite honest. I don't see. I, I feel like Kendra used some type of dark sorcery, and I just don't. I don't have any other explanation for why this man exists. But I can guarantee one thing for sure this is certainly going to be a ladder match. Is that number one contender's briefcase? I will say it will be quite interesting 
if Owen manages to win this and then he beats Zyler Glass in a week. I love how they're holding your message for review when it's literally just a dash. But Owen Spade is here. Wow, my goat is here. Listen, man. You being your own goat is kind of crazy. <laughs> Automod picking up a dash. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what the deal with that is. Um But Owen Spade. What an interesting career this man has. Like Think about what this man has done in his matches with Zyler. His first one, he got absolutely destroyed, by the way. Zyler, Zyler wiped the floor with him in their first matchup. Then their second matchup, Owen had to use an illegal pile driver. And it gave Zyler a concussion. But ever since... You were never the leader, buddy, it was Zyler. But go off, I guess. Is it wrong that I'm more excited to see who this man is, has in his future to fight than this ladder match here? Because I'm just saying, Owen has somebody after him and I want to know who it is. They said that they have been in primetime before and they've only had one wrestling match. So that really makes me... Zyler could definitely lead a horse to water. That is... Owen, Owen just killed himself. Um... He just dove headfirst into a ladder. Good job there, buddy. <laughs> Good job there. Oh man. And Peter Krill, whoever this man is, this isn't even this isn't even Pete. I don't know who this is. But whoever they are, they have made Owen look bad and they beat the real Pete. So Owen just clobbers Owen Spade with the ladder. That is something right there. Just working the arm now. <clears throat> Stomp. I'm just saying, if you can't beat your own imposter, that's pretty bad. But this is a ladder match. Again, the winner will face Zyler next week. What that does for the pay-per-view if Zyler wins, I don't know. Oh. So what if I booked it? All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> Owen now climbing the ladder. What if Owen wins right here? Well, actually he might not. Oh man, Krill's got spayed by the throat, but Owen just swats it away. He almost did nothing there, and now he's punching him. Oh. Coast is here. Man, what did you do? Well, uh, let's see. Keith was beat up backstage and tied to a chair. Um, and, uh, man, what else happened? Oh, you, uh, lost to a, you lost to a jobber. So, oh, you lost to a 40 overall jobber. Just wanted to, uh, make sure that's well known. But, man, we're seeing fake Pete versus Owen Spade right now. This company is so canon, buddy. So canon. <laughs> Auto mod is insane. I don't know why. These two just teeing off on each other right now. And Owen down to the ground. I can't believe the fake Pete is about to be number one contender. He's actually literally about to be number one contender. Owen's not doing anything. Oh, there he goes. No, Owen gave up. Wait. I said it's the fake Pete, all right? I didn't say it's the real Pete. I keep saying fake Pete. I don't know who this man is. Kendra just made this man spawn out of nowhere. Owen down to the ground. Fake Pete under the briefcase. Your new number one contender is here. Fake Pete will be facing Zyler Glass 
next week. Owen Spade just got his first loss here. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's something to think about, huh? Owen Spade has his first loss and he has actually left chat. I think he's I think he's upset. <laughs> no no, see Coast, here's the thing. You you missed what happened in the last show or maybe you didn't. But his old self beat his current self, which was insane by the way. So uh Peter Krill is just uh that match was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. O Owen was so upset about Keith being beat up and tied to a chair that he just couldn't, uh, he just couldn't dare, you know. He couldn't, he couldn't dare win this match. He's like, ah, I gotta lose this match for my boy. This is gonna be a short episode of BCW. I mean, we're only 38 minutes in and I got one more match. I guess I'll put on a put on a recap or something, I don't know, you know? I don't know, actually. I'm getting word right now that the man after Owen Spade is about to pop up on the screen. So, um, that's about to be interesting. Just, uh, if we just wait a second, he's about to pop up on the screen, I swear. Like, that's, a, that's what they, the production team just told me. They got a camera in this man's face, it's about to be shown. The man fighting Owen Spade is about to be on the screen. This is gonna look really bad. Just wait a second. Totally am not doing this on the fly. Dear God, Owen Spade's fighting Josh Allen. No, no. I knew, I knew when they said prime time guy. It was gonna be pretty bad, <laughs> Owen. Owen, how did you, how did this happen? Owen, how did this happen? How did you make this man mad? What did you do? This man is about to. <laughs> no, 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 coast, coast, coast. This is serious stuff here. Owen Spade and Josh Allen. Why? Owen, what did you do? Oh, let's move on. Get this guy off my screen. I don't want to see his face anymore. Get out of here. Should have been Dan Snyder. Nah, it's fine. I, I knew that build of a very, very tall man, you know, must have been somebody. Obviously not Owen. I think Masked Man should have an issue with him, too. Dude stole his mask and is trying to gaslight him in the thinking it was Owen. Owen's going to interfere at the playoff game. Dude, if you run onto the field and beat him up, you know, just before you have that match with him, that could be huge. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, I guess we got that for the pay-per-view. Owen Spade versus Josh Allen, which could have been for the title, but I guess it's not going to be now. So, um, man. But we got, a, we got a huge main event here. Again, this was supposed to be... Uh, <laughs> This is supposed to be Edward, but it's not. So I decided to uh, get a uh, contract for Air Zero in here real quick. I and mean, we are going to be having Air Zero versus Matt Marco. So it's Matt Marco versus Matt Marco from Wish. Uh, here we go. Should be interesting. What are our predictions here? I gotta allow all your comment all your comments. <laughs> Air Zero here in the main event against uh Matt Marco. Golden Duck Championship. I can't hope you lost your match earlier, man. Like you you know. You just need the Yeah, respect the Golden Duck Championship. Not gonna ruin your your talent. <laughs> I gotta allow this comment ninety times. It's fine. This is supposed to be Edward. You're not, you're not suing BCW, buddy. I think we're good. But here he is. <laughs> uh. I, 
I am excited to see where this goes. Air Zero, Matt Marco, Golden Duck Championship. This is Matt's first defense after beating Donald Duck. Which is a sentence that I did not think I'd be saying, but here we are. This is the most serious wrestling organization to ever exist. Yeah, if if you just would have respected Keith, this promotion wouldn't exist. That's kind of yeah. That, I mean, that's that's all on you, buddy. All you had to do was respect Keith. Matt Marco about to face Matt Marco from Wish. This is about to go crazy. Look at that. The Golden Duck Championship. That thing is all gold. That thing is 60 pounds. Now, this main event was only supposed to be one of your talents, and my women's division is all original people besides one. So, let's be honest here. Air Zero wasn't even supposed to be signed. I had to do an emergency signing just to get a main event here. So... It's fine. Air Zero, Matt Marco. You never would have done Pete versus Pete. Legendary idea. Blame Kendra for that one. Yeah, Matt is a free agent, actually. So I actually have... I, I might give this guy an exclusive contract, and then you're kind of kind of done with that, so... You didn't even see Pete. Did you even see Pete versus Pete? That was actually really good. It's actually a really good match. I can't say the Owen versus Pete match tape was any good. <laughs> but look at that championship in the corner. You can't be mad at that. Has a little has a little duck on it. It's not something you can be mad at. Air Zero, Matt Marco. Again, this championship is to be defended every single week. So, if Matt wins this one, that'd be insane. Kuro is a Matt developed talent, yeah. That's right. And Zyler Glass's first ever uh, streamed matchup was against Matt Marco, which he won. I want to point out. So. <laughs> Matt was a great booker, all right? When Matt, when Matt booked matches, I was 2-0. Oh, so let's, let, let's be honest here. Me, though, I'm a great booker. Look at that backstabber. I'm going to break the man's spine. Air Zero versus Matt Marco. Main event here. I think we need to go back to Matt booking, but right now he just goes face first into the mat. That isn't good. Air Zero trying to hype himself up for this one. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Oh. That isn't good. Matt running in a circle right now. Not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to taunt Edward. He wants that future Edward matchup. But we truly just don't know where he went. Hey, we're going to complain about booking here. If we want, you know, Zyler Glass has been booked so much better under me than you. <laughs> I mean, come on. Owen's gonna point. I never. I would never make Owen, re you know, wrestle three matches in one show. Yeah, it's three twenty-one. Why are you ordering lunch? That's kind of kind of crazy. But we got in-ring in action here, boys. Oh, ooh, look at that. 
Look at what Matt just did. Even Air Zero tasted his own medicine right there. The insanity from this ring. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that from Air Zero. Look at that DDT. Air Zero wants his Golden Duck Championship bad. He knows how prestigious this thing is. He knows how prestigious this championship is. I mean, Matt Marco fought a duck last week. Ooh, man. He fought a duck to get this championship. He earned the right to call himself the Golden Duck Champion. And there's a big clothesline there. He might fight a deer if he has to. You never know. Right now, him and Air Zero just going at it. DDT. Imagine if this ends in count out right here. Because if it did, Air Zero would not be getting that championship. And Matt would retain. Oh! Double stomp to the arm. This has been all Air Zero so far, all matchup. And Matt has not been able to defend himself. And jeez. One, two, oh. Finally, Matt kicking up. But that block there by Air Zero just taking him out. Oh, and Matt goes face first. I'm starting to think we're going to have a new champion in this one. Because the things I have seen so far. Oh, and Matt, what was that? I think Matt's washed. Oh my god. It's over. Like, it's over already. Oh, and he kicked out. I'm actually surprised. Matt Marco is not doing good at all, by the way. Oh, and the... F Oof, man, everybody does that move. Edward does it, Owen does it, Erzir does it, too. Oh, he kicked out. Oh, and there's another one. New champion for sure. It is over. It is over. No way he kicks out of this. No shot. New champion. New champion. The reign of Matt Marco lasted a whole week. <laughs> he was champion for a week. He's he's lucky that he's lucky uh well he's not lucky Edward uh <laughs> He's not lucky about Edward. Air Zero just got signed like an hour ago and he just beat Matt for the Golden Duck Championship already. <laughs> oh what a <laughs> Yeah, what a silly goofy episode of BCW. Jesus. Well we get uh Air Zero is gonna be fighting Edward next week. Um, so we got that to look forward to. So now we're getting Air Zero versus Edward. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Let me start on that pay-per-view. Uh, the the pay-per-view right now is shaping up to be a, uh, <laughs> a uh, master, master class, you know? We had just had three squash matches today. Sorry, Air Zero is BCW. I mean, he took Matt's championship and <laughs> that's... Oh, that's that's bad. I mean, we had we did Aiden Kennedy versus Jerry. Jerry somehow won. Melody Battle versus Amari Price. That was a great one. Battle was in a match now next week. Um, let me just let me just like type up this card real quick. So we got Edward versus Arizero now, and we got Battle versus Rain. Number one contenders match. Gotcha, gotcha. Masked Man will be in action in, in a tag team match with his new disciple. And we're also going to have Peter Krill versus Other Glass in our main event. So, again, let me recap that. Edward versus Air Zero, Golden Duck Championship. Battle versus Rain, number one contenders match. Masked Man will be tag teaming with a partner of his choosing. And we will have Peter Krill versus Zyler Glass BCW championship. Yeah, Matt, um Matt, it didn't go it didn't go too well for you. As you can see, Air Zero has taken your championship. It has literally literally been a week. Don't know how you fumbled it that bad, man.
but here we are. Um, yeah, so I don't know who's going to be ready for next week, but I know in, I know next week is our last show before our pay-per-view, which is going to have the Moms Battle Royale and uh, so much more like Edward, or sorry, Owen Spade versus Josh Allen, which is such a uh, r random thing to say, but you know, we got to keep up with celebrity pay-per-view appearances like uh, Donald Duck and Mr. Josh Allen. So, <laughs> if Krill wins, it's just proof I'm cursed. It might be proof you're cursed, I'm going to be honest. If Peter Krill ends up the uh, BCW champion, that's crazy. That's what i got to imagine on the pay-per-view. We're going to get Aiden Kennedy versus Keith. So, I guess just look out for that. I mean, yeah, you know, for all I know, you're gonna you're you're gonna put on those pads and you're gonna be on the the uh, Chiefs D line and you're just gonna sack him and you're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna see you in a couple weeks at Bimbo's at the beach, which is gonna be a uh, very very great show. So I, I am excited for that again. Josh Allen and Owen Spade. Jeez, that's a that's a that's a nightmare for somebody. I'm gonna be honest. I was about to pop up the logo, and then I realized I don't even know where it is. It's not on this computer, that's why. Got it, got it, got it. Owen's, Owen getting sacks is nothing new. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're right, you're right, man. When you're right, you're right. I was trying to milk this to an hour, but, you know, I got uh, I don't think I have a way of doing that right now. I guess I'll just exit and we'll see a nice little recap of the uh, of the show here. Hey, hey, Peter Krill seems to be an improvement because he's kind of undefeated right now. So, but yeah, this is what we had today. Just in case anyone needs a little recap, Jerry beat Aiden Kennedy. It was supposed to be Keith, but uh, it wasn't Keith. I'm being told now that he is being taken to a uh, local medical facility. Um. We don't dare say the H-word here, here, pal. Um, Maya Price, Melody Battle. Melody Battle 1. By submission. Star Lord, Peter Krill. Very easily beat Owen Spade. What the fuck is that beard? That's, that's Aiden Ken. That's the new beard, you know? He grew it out. Uh, <laughs> he grew it out, you know, because he's evil now. <laughs> that's his evil beard. Again, he, he lost to a 40 overall jobber, so just, I'd pipe down there, buddy. And then we had our main event of Arizero versus Matt Marco, which went very, very interestingly. So, yeah, um, I guess thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, I don't know when next week I'm going to be doing another show. Probably, maybe Monday. Yeah, you have to, you have to go and tie Keith. That's why you lost. Sure, man. But yeah, Owen Spade's next matchup going to be in February. I'm excited for that one. Excited for everything coming up. Next week is supposed to be a really good show. I hope. Because, wow, this show, was, uh, this show was something. So I guess I'll see you guys next week.